Welcome back, and it is the monthly favorites time. All right. Now, you know when you have that one makeup product that you can't shut up about, and basically kind of no one believes you because they never see an empty thing of it? Well, today, to get the last bit of my professionals, the very last bit, I mean, like, yeah, I had to cut it up to get into it, to get it. See, there it is. And, ah, all the glory. All the glory. You know, cut it up. Got it all out. I mean, I even got it out of this. The little bottom of it, you know. I got it all. I was like, yep, uh-uh. No, you're going on my face. And I haven't even put on the rest of my makeup. I was just so excited that I had to you know, cut it up and get it on my face. So now... I so have to get a new one, even though, you know, I have other primers, you know, I even got the Smash, what is it called, the Smash Box Butter Finish Point Minimizing Primer, you know, this little dude, this little sample, and I even have the Ultra Matte Prime, I even have a Milani one, and I ran out of that, and I'm like, I don't want to put you on my face. You are not my benefit. But I'm going to actually really try this week to try this Smashbox one because I'm trying to branch out. But I'm kind of looking at that new Urban Decay one. I heard that's actually supposed to be really good. So anyway, that is the first thing that is on one of my favorites, obviously. It's gone. Oh my God. So anywho, let's move on. Ah, there is a fly in here. You die, die, die. If I can get it to die. Alright, let's move on to foundations before I go nuts. Um, it's it cosmetics, people. It is the CC Plus Foundation in Light. And it got the pump. And I like this because it is a lightweight foundation. I really like it. It does great coverage, amazingly enough. You can build it up to medium. But when you want that light coverage, this is great. But, you know, we all know my holy grail is my tart. But you know what I've discovered? Mix the two together. Boom! You have a great foundation. And it's kind of in between what the It Cosmetics is, which is, it's not runny, but it's more liquidy. And a mousse. And they work great. Alright. Powders. I've been using two powders this month. My It Cosmetic Bye Bye Pores Powder. It's the pressed one. I really like this. It really does work. But I'm going to try the actual powder powder one. Because I heard that one is even better for some reason. Probably because it's not pressed. And you don't have to really, you know, kind of dig. Because I found I had to kind of dig in that. And the next one is the CoverGirl True Blend. In number one, Translucent Fair. reason why I like this is I can just set it. But it doesn't change the look of my makeup. And I really like it. It's really nice. I really enjoy it. Okay, Blushes. I really only have one I've been wearing this month, and it's in Coral Cove by Milani, and it's one of the rose blushes, but this is a blush that you can build it up to make it really glowy, or you can put a little bit on, and it's a light glow, and it's just so nice. It feels amazing, and it's not powdery, and I only took, you know, just... A swipe and look, my fingers are glowing. Ah, glowy! Sorry, I feel really good today. I've had three cups of coffee. I got my son off to his HI and for school. The other one's asleep because he worked last night. The husband's gone. Animals are taken care of. House is taken care of. I am here! And I feel good. 
Contouring. Okay. Park Avenue Princess by Tarte, people. Um, I love this. This is dark enough to contour, but it's light enough that you can't really tell you use something bleh, to contour. And it's just so nice. It's so nice. It got that really nice, pretty glow. It's not orangey. It's not really yellow. It's... How do I say it? More of a goldish tone. That makes sense? A goldish tone? Because it's one of those... <laughs> ah! My headphones. What's that the white? You know, swatch it off. Sorry. I'm going crazy. Okay. But it's just so nice. It just does... It fits all the skin tones that are out there because it's not for intense contouring it's for you know subtle you can use it really subtly and it looks so pretty that's what I like alright bronzer I have been loving 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 my physician's formula shimmer strip and biggest strip this you amazingly enough this is a jack of all trades Alright, you can do an eye look with this, really awesome eye look. You can use it as a highlight lightly. You can use it as a bronzer for a really nice glow. But what I love about it is it's the jack of all trades. And it really reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Strips. Never owned a Bobbi Brown Shimmer Strip, but I've swatched it enough. And that's what it really reminds me of. Maybe one day I'll have to break down and get it. Okay, I've been really loving my Jordana Cat Eye Liner. Uh, you can get this for like three bucks at Walgreens. It's amazing. I mean, I wore it last night or yesterday, and it stayed beautifully. You can make a thin line. You can make a thick line. You can do a cat eye, obviously. But there it is. And what's awesome is... It dry when it dries down, it's kind of to me like a glossy matte almost. What the heck was on my eye? Ew, it was a fly. Ew. Ew, 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 ew. Okay. It was like a glossy matte or a satin matte. It was just so pretty and so subtle. 